If you're building an enterprise app and need admins to deploy custom configurations like server settings or turning off syncing over mobile, you might want to consider using managed configurations. I'm Todd Berner, and I work for Android Enterprise, and today I want to talk to you about managed configurations. Managed configurations let an admin control how your app behaves within their organization by using the settings that you decide to expose. They are previously known as app restrictions. Now managed configurations are used to configure your app in many ways. Things like printer settings, email servers, and so on. Anything an IT admin would like to set up in your app can be used as a managed configuration. Adding managed configurations functionality to your app is straightforward. To declare them in your app, you can create a managed configurations file and reference that file in your app's manifest. The managed configurations file is a simple XML file that resides in the resources folder. It has a single top level element and a single child level element for every configuration option you'd like to create for your app. The key attribute is your reference on that configuration and is what you use to access the value later on. The title and description texts are used to communicate with the IT admins what the configuration option is used for. The data type defines the type of that configuration and the default value is what is applied by default. You can also group configurations together in bundles. This is typically used when a group of configurations collectively set up something in your app. For example, a VPN server with a username and password. This also allows you to create bundle arrays which you can group multiple values for the same configuration bundle. Once you've created your managed configurations file in your app, IT admins will be able to see all these configurations through the Enterprise Mobility Management System. Let's look at a real example of what IT admins see for the Gmail app when it managed through their organization. Once an IT admin creates a set of values for these configurations, they can then create a policy and send it over to their managed devices. To read values sent to your app, get the Restrictions Manager object, which you can get by calling the Get System Service on the activity. Once you have a Restrictions Manager, you can get the current configuration setting by calling its Get Applications Restriction method. You can also get the same restrictions by calling Get Application Restrictions on a User Manager. Get Application Restrictions in both cases returns a bundle containing a key value pair for each configuration that's been set. The key is what you've specified when declaring the configuration in the Restrictions XML file, and the value is what's been set by the IT admin. Your app should now take the appropriate action or behavior based on those configuration values. For example, this app is checking to see if the download on cellular configuration was set to true. If so, then it should turn off any cellular download in the app. Retrieving configuration is a heavy operation and should only be done when the app first launches or resumes. A good practice is to cache any settings for the duration of the app's lifecycle. You can also be notified for any configuration changes while your app is running by listening to the Action Applications Restriction Changed intent. Once triggered, you can retrieve the values the same way as we did during app launch and change the app's behavior accordingly. Another good practice when applying managed configuration is to let IT admins know when the configuration settings have been successfully applied. And if for any reason there was an error, notify them. This will detect typos and mistakes earlier when using the values for those configurations. To send feedback to the IT admin, you can use the enterprise.feedback jetpack library, which integrates nicely with the enterprise mobility tools and will automatically send admins a notification of any feedback you've sent. In summary, managed configuration lets apps change behavior by exposing any settings they choose. IT admins then set those values and the app can read those and change behavior accordingly. To use them in your app, you'll need to declare those configurations in a restrictions XML file, read the values at app launch and resume, and then send back an acknowledgement or error code using the Enterprise Feedback Jetpack Library. Finally, you can use the Test DPC app to configure any of those settings just like an IT admin would, which will allow you to test your app and see how it behaves with all the different settings. Check the documentation for more details on managed configurations and for a step-by-step -step exercise Try completing the Managed Configuration Code Lab, where you'll build a sample app that covers all we talked about here and test it using TestDPC. Thanks for watching and happy coding!